Hi, my name is Manu Sporni, and this is a demo of the Fuzzbot plugin for the Firefox 3 web browser. Um, Fuzzbot is basically a Firefox 3 plugin that allows you to extract semantic data from web pages. Uh, semantic data is kind of embedded metadata, it's information about the pieces of uh, data that are in a web page. Uh, so not only does Fuzzbot extract this information, but it can then present this information to you uh, in a way that you can uh, then decide what you want to do with that information. Um, so for example, if we uh, look at this web page, uh, an example of the embedded information in this web page would be that there's a download section here, and there's a how it works section here, um, and then there are a couple of screenshots down here. Now a computer is really bad at picking out the different sections. Uh, as far as humans uh, are concerned, humans understand what the different sections are, but to a computer this looks like a whole bunch of text uh, that's just splattered on the screen. So there's a new way of uh, expressing semantic information um, on web pages called RDFA. This is a World Wide Web Consortium uh, standard that's uh, going to be coming out in the next couple of months. Um, and Fuzzbot basically uses that standard to extract semantic information from a page and then display it to uh, you. Um, so if we look at, let's say, a blank page, you'll notice that there's a little icon down here. This is actually the Fuzzbot icon, the plugin icon, uh, and it's closed right now. Um, and as you'll notice, there's nothing really that shows up here. However, if we go to a RDFA-enabled web page, such as this one, we'll see it pop up. Um, so the Fuzzbot icon pops open, and uh, you've got a little music icon here that says that there's some kind of audio information on this web page. Um, this uh, markup can basically be put into any website. Uh, so for example, this is a website called Bitmonk, uh, and if we just click on one of the albums here on this website, we can see that you know it's got a little description about the album, it's got an image, it's got a whole bunch of information, metadata, uh, embedded semantics uh, about the album, such as when it was released, and its genre, and then the number of tracks in there, the type, um, and then of course the price of the album. Now using Fuzzbot, um, Fuzzbot can actually detect the RDFA that's in this web page. Um, the, the only special thing about this web page is that it uses a, a little bit of RDFA uh, metadata information just kind of sprinkled throughout the HTML. And if we click on the Fuzzbot icon down here, we can see exactly what data is embedded in the page. Um, so for example, um, we can go down to one of the songs down here. Um, so let's take this one here. Uh, so this is the third track, uh, the media positions three. The title of the track is breakable and then it's got the duration of the track marked up in ISO 8601 uh, and then a sample and then uh, the I guess the type of the, tr of the track which is an audio recording. Um, but this information isn't really helpful uh, to people browsing. I mean this is it's cool that there's you know metadata in the page um, but what we really want is some kind of user interface to show us uh, what's on the page. So Fuzzbot not only can extract the triples and show them to you down here, uh, but it can also uh, build a user interface uh, based off of the data that's on the page. So for example, this little drop down menu up here says that there's some kind of music on the page. Uh, there's an album called Girls and Boys, and then there are a number of tracks, audio recordings on the page. Uh, if we click on Girls and Boys, for instance, we get a user interface. And this is a Firefox uh, interface, um, and it's pretty important that uh, we notice that this used to be impossible before RDFA um, and uh, Fuzzbot came along. There was no way for the computer to understand what information was in the page and then create a custom user interface uh, for us to uh, work with the data that's on the page. So. For example, on this interface, we see that the title of this album is Girls and Boys, and it picked up what the image for the album is, and it also picked up that there's a sample for uh, the album, uh, the genre, uh, the duration for the song, and the price. So this is all semantics that are embedded in the page that Fuzzbot was able to extract. And we can do things with this data. So for example, um, if we were to look at the page again, to try and pick out where the sample link for the album uh, is located is a bit difficult. I mean, there are a whole bunch of sample links over here, and then there's a sample link over here, and it's kind of it might it's kind of difficult to figure out what the real sample link is. But 
using Fuzzbot, we can just go to the menu, click on Girls and Boys, and then click on Get Sample. And this will use the standard sampling, uh, sample playback mechanism that Firefox has. In this case, it opens the uh, XMS uh, music player and plays uh, all the samples back to us. Um, so if you notice, it's it was just as easy as clicking uh, on the sample link and uh, Firefox basically opened the sample for us directly. Um, there are other things that we can do with the Fuzzbot plugin as well. So let's go to a different page here. Um, this is just a audio information test page and as you can see that the, the information on this page is really jumbled together. It's hard to pick out where one song ends and another song begins, or what's an album, or what's a track, but using Fuzzbot again, we can just click here and get a list of all the albums and all the recordings on the website. Um, so just looking really quickly, we can see that there are two albums here, and then there are a couple of recordings. And if we click on them, like Start Wearing Purple, uh, we find out that uh, it's a... Uh, it's a piece of audio that uh, is called Start Wearing Purple, and it was created by Google Bordello, is the, uh, I guess the name of the band. And um, we've got a album image for that uh, piece of uh, audio information. If you look back at the page, though, there's no, there's no uh, image information, but what uh, the author of this website has done is given a hint to the browser using RDFA that uh, there is an image that goes along with this song. Um, so if we click on Start Wearing Purple, again, uh, in the in the drop-down menu, uh, we'll see the image, uh, and up here is is probably where that image is linked to. Um, but again, it, it's displayed here. And if we want to find out even more information about this, we can use the title to create a custom search on Music Brain. So if we click this, uh, what that button does is it basically says, "I know that this is a title, and I know that this is a song, so I can create a query to this site I know called Music Brains." Um, and if we go to that site, hopefully the first thing that comes up is "Start Wearing Purple," which is the track that was displayed on that other page. Uh, this is an example of RDFA and Fuzzbot making your browsing experience much easier. You didn't need to go to the website, you didn't need to find the uh, form that you needed to fill out to create the search uh, to get you the information you needed. Uh, all you needed to do was click on this uh, Fuzzbot music button, click on Start Wearing Purple, and say, I want to use the title to search Music Brains, and then Fuzzbot takes care of the rest for you. Um, we can do the same thing with uh, the creator, or really any kind of embedded metadata that's in the page. So, for example, we know the creators Google Bordello. Uh, what if we want to look them up on Wikipedia? We basically say, okay, creator Google Bordello, we want to use the creator to search Wikipedia. Um, and then hopefully the first thing that pops up here is Google Bordello. And there you go. There's the uh, band's website, or sorry, not the band's website, but the uh, a site talking about the band, which is Wikipedia. Um, Wikipedia's description of uh, Google Bordello, including all their albums and, and whatnot. And if this page was marked up with RDFA, we could extract even more information from it. Um, so in general, uh, you know, this makes your browsing experience much easier uh, because it automatically uh, coalesces the information on the page that has to do with audio. It puts it in a context menu up at the top in the Firefox 3 Awesome bar, and then it lets you deal with that data in the way that you want to deal with it. Um, so that's just a really quick example of what RDFA and Fuzzbot uh, can do for you. If you want more information, you can go to the rdfa.info slash wiki web page, and this is a page that describes what RDFA is all about and how to use other extractors other than Fuzzbot uh, to get information uh, into your web browser so that you can make your browsing experience a bit easier.